So this is a finished page. We are going to be using some intense blocks, which I love, for the next step in the background. But here we use some acrylic paint, and then I just put a little black ink pad on it, some little direct-to-paper to get the peaks to show up a little bit more. So we're going to go right into the intense blocks. I'm so excited about this product, and this is going to be such a simple way for you to create such a vibrant background. So this is where we, we get all messy and just have a little bit of fun. I'm going to just pick random colors and just literally start scraping. You can use the entire block, and that's the difference between um, the pencils and, and the blocks, is if I were to scribble this entire page with a pencil, it would take me a lot longer. But that being said, if you only have the pencils, you are not quite didn't get the blocks yet, Absolutely, scribble away. No need to have the blocks, you can absolutely use your pencils as well. So I have a little bit of green there and I'm gonna go on to blue, same way. And I'm putting a lot of color down. Don't be afraid of that. It may look like too much, but you need that uh, very strong color for the next step. And I'm gonna go one more into a darker blue and this time I'll just I'll just draw a little bit of little bit of swirl swirl action there lots of times um, I practice my doodling all the time and, and that's really the only way you get good at it this may or may not show up in your background these swirls but it's a great way to practice and then you know you might have a little peak of a swirl later on so there we go we just got lots of yummy pigment on there and I'm going to take a brush that's been in some clean water and literally just brush it on. Now the Derwent Inktense pencils are water soluble, these are the blocks, but these, this product is water soluble and therefore dissolves wonderfully. The difference between these and say like a watercolor pencil is that these are uh, so much more vibrant. They're actually ink in a pencil form. So we're going to add lots of water there. You absolutely can take a little, I have a spray bottle here with, filled with water, you could also do that. So again, I'm going all willy-nilly with it, as I like to say, and uh, not worrying about if my brush strokes are going up and down, sideways, or whatnot. So I got lots of water. It's so important that you have lots of water when, when you do this. So now, again, all I'm going to do is take my book, fold it over. This just happens to be some uh, a handmade journal where I just stapled some watercolor paper together. Your journals don't have to be expensive if you don't want them to be. And then I'm just going to open it up. Now sometimes this is what happens. So really easy just to tilt it down so that it runs. And then again, fold it over and open it back up. It's like one of those, like you're at the psychiatrist's and every time you, you close the book and open it up, you'll find some other crazy form, crazy different pictures. So I'm going to leave it like this. Now, in your spine, if you have a book that's bound like this one where you have a spine and you get that, that little leakage there, you just want to make sure you dip maybe a paper towel, something into that. Some people put a little bit of packing tape there or masking tape there so that it doesn't seep onto other pages. So we're going to set this aside to dry. I use three monochromatic colors here, but don't forget you can mix them all together and create some absolutely wonderful designs. And every time will be completely, completely different.